It was a good weather day today across the region. If you're a duck, Raleigh was covered in clouds and even had some showers across the region today. Wilson, but in our southern counties, it's a little bit warmer. We're clocking in at 72 across Fayetteville, Clinton, Kenansville, Kinston. And sort of make the outline of this cold front with heavy showers extending along the I-95 corridor. So those showers are going to be pushing out and we're going to be clearing out as so the night. This has been a rather prolific line of storms, but fortunately it's lost its punch. No active warnings across the region right now from the and yank chilly air all the way from Canada into the southeastern United States. And that's going to have dramatic impacts on our weather. So hey, good afternoon. Meteorologist Ross Harris here. They call North Carolina the state where you can experience four seasons in one day. Well, we have that right now. It's currently 70 degrees in Wilmington. We can call that summer. In Raleigh, 51 degrees. You can call that sort of spring or fall. And then finally, Boone. 32 degrees. In fact, some of the mountain locations today recorded some snow. We have winter up there, so we have a full plate of seasons on deck for North Carolina right now, and this is why we have a cold front that recently passed the region you can sort of make the outline of this cold front with heavy showers extending along the I-95 corridor. So those showers are going to be pushing out and we're going to be clearing out as the night goes on. This is all in association with this large low pressure system, this large storm system impact in the northeast. So New York, Washington, D.C., they're going to be continuing with a large windstorm. This is going to be a major issue for them, but for us, the only issue is cooler than normal temperatures and check this out for tonight 36 degrees for a temperature brisk a western wind of 15 miles per hour so that brisk wind is going to be bringing in those cool temperatures to really cool us down and across the rest of the region Roxboro 34 degrees you're almost out of freeze Fayetteville you're a little bit further away from a freeze at 38 degrees and same for you at Goldsboro and at Rocky Mount. So for your Monday, it's looking nice. It's looking crisp. It's looking like one of those stereotypical fall days where the sun is just brilliant and it's nice and crisp. 60 degrees for a high temperature, upper 50s throughout the afternoon. And check this out on the mornings, 47 degrees at 10 a.m., 38 at 8 a.m. So this is a cool morning. This is definitely a morning where you want to have your jacket, something on tap to keep you warm wherever you need to go as you head out for your morning commute. Now, our jet stream pattern right now is going to, is signaling that this cool weather isn't exactly here to stay. So a basic rule of meteorology is that these jet streams right here, so I've shaded them in blue and purple, pretty much dictate the boundary between warm and cool weather. You can see this dip currently enveloping the Raleigh region. This is why we have cooler weather coming. But as I put this in motion, watch this jet stream start to retreat north a little bit. So this is going to open the door for warmer weather to finally settle back into Raleigh and check this out. In fact, the warmer weather is pretty much inundating the region. So we're expecting a much larger warm up um, coming into this week. Um, temperature is definitely moderating a little bit. Now, that's, that's going to be good news for your trick or treat forecast. It's not going to be cold and wherever you need to go, whether it be Kill Devil Hills, Cape Fear, close to my hometown of Wilmington, or Boogertown. Uh, nice, mild temperatures for your evening. And guess what? Raleigh is also looking nice with uh, temperatures around the mid 50s for your trick or treat uh, forecast. And check this out. This is that moderation in temperatures I'm talking about. 59 for a high Monday, 78 on Friday, and the weekend also looking pretty nice in the low 70s. However, that's when we're also going to be talking about our next weather maker that could be bringing in some chances for rain um, coming in. You can see that in the percentage of precipitation, but we will cross that bridge when we get there.